Our world is made up of complex webs of living things called ecosystems. These ecosystems are made up of interactions between plants and animals in food webs. Each organism plays a different role, such as a producer, consumer or decomposer. In a managed agricultural ecosystem, in other words a farm, these interactions must be controlled by farmers to ensure that the plant or animal they are trying to grow does not suffer negative impacts from other organisms, particularly microorganisms and higher order consumers. Farmers use a wide range of scientific and technological advancements to keep their agricultural practices modern, efficient and sustainable. Understanding of microorganisms and how they spread, computer control of environmental conditions, medical advances such as vaccinations, knowledge of chicken biology, behaviour and nutritional needs and advances in refrigeration and automation have all benefited the farming of healthy meat chickens and the production of quality chicken meat that we can eat. In this video, we will look at how humans use scientific knowledge and technology to sustainably farm chickens for food. In a natural ecosystem, chickens would take the role of lower order consumers, given that they eat plants and insects, and are in turn eaten by predators such as eagles, foxes, crocodiles and dingoes. However, chickens have not lived in a completely natural ecosystem for thousands of years. And over the last 70 to 80 years, farmers have selectively bred them specifically for producing lots of meat. Selective breeding involves choosing which chickens can have offspring to get birds to be bigger or have more muscle, like in the case of meat chickens, or to lay eggs every day all year, like egg-laying chickens do. In a natural environment, chickens would have a large crop of babies, many of which would die before they grew old enough to breed themselves due to disease, predation or starvation. In a managed agricultural ecosystem, especially one where food, plants or animals are produced, the farmer needs all or most of their crop to thrive and survive until they can be processed. In a meat chicken farm, the chickens are kept in large barns so that their environment can be tightly controlled. The temperature and humidity are often managed by computer-controlled ventilation fans. Food and water are delivered through special automated systems so that they are always available and do not impact the bedding or litter on the floor. Chicks are vaccinated from disease and the farm is cleaned, disinfected and kept pest-free to protect the health and well-being of the chickens. One of the most important things that the farmer needs to do to manage their ecosystem is protect the chickens from disease. In natural ecosystems, most diseases are caused by microorganisms such as protozoa, bacteria, viruses and fungi, but disease can also be caused by macroorganisms like tapeworms, mites or flukes. On a chicken meat farm, where risk is from microorganisms, the key to avoiding disease is biosecurity. Biosecurity requires that the farms are kept very clean and pest free. Any visitor to the farm must wear protective gear and disinfect their boots and hands to protect the chickens from diseases that people might be carrying on their clothing, footwear or body. The water that the chickens drink is either human quality drinking water or specially treated for the farm to prevent waterborne disease. The number of chickens living in each barn is limited so that the chickens are not overcrowded to prevent stress, dirt from building up and to avoid spread of any disease. These protective measures are not just to keep the chickens healthy but also to ensure that the meat we get from their chickens is healthy for us. Advances in biology, technology and medicine have had a big impact on chicken meat farming. Better understanding of chicken needs have allowed scientists to develop food that meets all their nutritional needs and create environmental conditions that promote chicken health and optimal growth. 
Advances in technology have allowed the development of machines at the hatchery that incubate and hatch the eggs. At a farm level for food delivery systems to deliver the correct amounts of food and water and barn computers for environmental controls. And at the processing plant, very importantly, to provide the latest in automation and refrigeration technology. The improvements in automation and in refrigeration technology has allowed producers to produce far more food in one go, lowering the price of food like chicken so that humans can eat it regularly without having to grow our own chickens. Refrigeration is also key in protecting humans from diseases like salmonella. Increased veterinary understanding allows farmers to also use vaccines to protect chickens from disease. Medicines, including antibiotics, may also be used on the advice and supervision of a veterinarian to treat sick chickens. An understanding of disease is key to ensuring all the consumers of chicken meat are protected during chicken meat production. Chicken meat farming has a very modest environment impact compared to other land-based livestock farms, partly because chickens are efficient in how they convert their food into meat. The barns they are housed in use much less land space than other animals, even if the birds have an outside range area. And there is very little waste from the chickens, as most of the chicken will end up being eaten by humans and the rest is used in animal and pet foods. Without all the sophisticated technology that controls incubating, hatching, climate control, food and water supplies and meat processing, there would be a great deal more waste in this process.